Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Resident Evil 3. So, last time we were chased by a nemesis with a fucking RPG. We managed to get on a train with the hopes of getting the fuck out of Raccoon City, only for nemesis to blow our shit up. Oh, actually it was Mikhail that blew it up, but... Crazy Rusky, right? What the hell is he? Ukrainian? Rusky? All I know is he's some crazy... mercenary. Yeah, you did. You did. Okay, you're actually dead dead. Can you please die? Thank you. Alrighty, let's keep it a moving. I have this feeling one of these motherfuckers can get back up. Oh. Hello, boys. How are we doing today? Oh, shit. I was not ready for you. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Gonna dip over here. I will say this: I'm a little disappointed at this game that they got rid of uh, mercenaries mode. You are still alive. I can't stay here. Of course you can, Jill. Let's just sit down and uh, wait for him to show up, and we'll have a nice conversation. Maybe we could start talking, you know, about peace and how, you know, conflict isn't the answer to all of our solutions. And then we promptly put a few bullets in the back of his head. That that's usually. Usually the best way of handling things. Alright, uh, I'm looking, there we go. Uh, do I have anything of use? No. Uh, can I open you? No. My knife, yes. I'm gonna combine that together. I think I'm about good. Cool, let's just keep it on a rolling. But yeah, recently me and my girlfriend were playing uh, Resident Evil 5 Mercenaries, and after playing that, I remember how fun the mode was, and it would be really nice if Resident Evil 3 had it. Because Resident Evil 3 was the one that introduced it. Hey, Nemesis, feeling a little toasty there, aren't you? Bitch can't even swim. Yeah, you tell him, Jill. Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. Well, Mihail kind of blew his ass up. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? Oh, Nemi got a makeover. Jill, what happened? Jill, come in. What's up, Nemi? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ah! Sure, I'm sure that hurt him, but, uh, I don't know how well, how well I did. Why does he remind me of a Dark Souls boss? He looks like he's something you'd see out of Dark Souls. See, one thing I will say that they got rid of, which I'm like, that, that would have been perfect. They've got rid of uh, quick time events. There's no quick time anymore. Resident Evil was very big with that. Oh yeah, I don't get any more shotgun runs. Uh, I need... Oh, he's already beating my ass. Uh, okay, I need... Wow. How am I still alive after that? Okay, you son of a bitch. How'd that feel? Now let me switch over to flame rounds and get your ass a little toasty. That completely missed. Okay, oh shit. Alright, you fucker, you don't want to give me a chance to uh, take care of shit. I got you. I got you. Uh, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. He's right there. Uh, anything else over here? I'm more focusing on weapons, ammo. Uh, let's do this. Oh, shit. Uh, let's combine that. Yep, that works. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, yeah, knife isn't going to do much, Jill. Come on. Get toasty, you son of a bitch. And there you go. Alright, so there's some stuff over here that I could use 
Uh, let's take this. I'll take that. And oh, what the hell? Oh, shotgun rounds. Oh, wow, they actually give you a lot. Shit. Okay, reload, 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 reload. Oh, god damn it. I'm just gonna say, this should be an instant kill. Like, like she just had her intestines chewed on like that. She should be dead. Uh, how am I doing in health? Come on, Jill. Stop. Stop Billy Dinkin. Should be alright for now. Where the hell are you do going, you crazy fuck? Uh, alrighty then. Gives me a second to look. Uh... Dude's got good airtime, I'll give him that. Oh, he's gonna lunge. He's staring right at me, he's gonna fucking lunge, yep. Uh, okay, so this game has nothing left in it. He just threw a rock at me. Okay, this is definitely a kill, yep, yep. Oh, he went for the head. I'll leave the heal stuff for now. Shotgun rounds. Shells, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, dude, that was just mean. Got fucking bitch slapped by Nemesis. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, fuck. Okay. There we go. Just keep loading into him, Jill. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, I need... Why is the camera so close? Why is the camera close? Jill, we don't need a close up like this. Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, I need stuff. As far as I'm aware, she's not. We're not supposed to be this close to Jill's face, body, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yep. I'll happily take all of that. Uh, let's switch over. Cook his ass a little bit. This is, every time he runs, I want to make sure I can blow his ass up. Uh... Oh, are you upset? Did I piss you off? Here, how's that feel? Damn it, I missed. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, he's doing that. Okay, cool. Uh... Oh, he's got a little dingly do. Yeah, you don't sound happy. Hey, you, you wanna you wanna be friends? Sorry, buddy. You just you wanna be no no okay okay I get it I get it you're pissed I get it you're pissed I get it you're pissed. You toasty bitch. Oh, wait, uh, did he open anything? Yes, he did. Those are shotgun shells. Oh, you're gonna kick my ass? Okay, no, you're not. All right, so if memory serves me right, he's gonna do a couple passes, so we're gonna hit that building again. Switch over to flame. He's gonna blow his ass up. And we're gonna shoot that little dangly dude uh, thing. No, 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 you don't get me mean. You don't gotta be mean. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, fuck you, you dick. Shit, okay. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, he's doing that shit again. Uh, do I have mine? Yes. No, that's a flame round. I got two mines. Uh, you know what? Plug one right there. I. Oh wow, I actually got that one. You just stay right there, buddy. Just keep taking damn. Oh shit. All right, I get it. You're pissed. You, you have every right to be pissed. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh shit. Okay, just stampede my ass. Got it. Oh cool. That's all cool. Alright, I need shells. That I don't have. Fuck. I have space for. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna eat one of these. Shit, I could have just spent two rounds of ammo and that would have been good. It's too hard to hit while it's moving. Uh, I 
need a clear shot. There you go. That should do. Oh, he's pissed again. Shit. Jill, you gotta learn to stop fucking reloading. And this asshole is coming. Oh, what's gonna bring this fucker? Oh, thank God. Oh, now, now the mine rounds are here. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Come on, you're gonna crap out on me now? God, yes, Jill. It's gonna crap out on you right now. Does that answer your question? Uh, shit. What do I... Do I want to use this? Hold on, fuck it. And then... Wh why does a cop car have mine rounds? Please, someone explain that one to me. Like how she very so carefully walks over his hand, like, ew, you're nasty. Uh, and you lost your arm because you're an asshole. Ah, now we're gonna get to see some hentai. Ooh. And he blacks out. Interesting. You've done me a big favor. Nikolai, you are the biggest dickhead probably in the series. Probably the biggest dickhead, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd hazard, uh, hazard to guess and say he's the biggest jerk off. Uh, where's Nemesis? He just left ne uh, left Jill. Just left her to hopefully Jill. turn. Another thing too is half a day. How long does it take to turn? Because hey, she's clearly infected. God damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I, I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. You hang in there, Super Cop. I got you. Cool, so we're going back to playing as Carlos. Yeah, I'd be pretty fucking nervous, too, to walk into a hospital knowing there's a chance that there's a shit ton of infected. Honestly, you'd expect a lot of infected from a hospital. I mean, look at how things are going with the coronavirus. Fucking hospitals are packed. So, I mean, in the case of a zombie outbreak, this place should be the Walking Dead right now. Hospitals should be the last place you'd want to be. I'm gonna get you the vaccine. Alrighty, so any good stuff in here? Weapons, items? No, no, not that I can go fuck myself. Uh, let me just trash that. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, uh, let's just get it rolling. You know what? Just in case, I'm gonna save quick. Oh, ammo. Sweet. Tyrell, where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. Can I take this, please? Please? Thank you. Uh, yeah, fuck it. Fine. Anything? Nope. I thought that was something good. Alright, never mind. Alright, so, let's keep it going. I don't got time for this! Oh, I thought someone was behind me. Okay. Can you please go the fuck down? Thank you. Shit, reloading. 
Alright, uh, I don't want to burn all my, uh, rifle ammo. Shit. Okay. I wanted to make sure everyone was down. They're all down. No more bullshit. Okay, cool. Uh, I can't go here. Uh, there is something. Oh, there's a box up there. Uh, where should I go? I don't fucking know. Hey, is that Mr. X's hat? That'd be, that'd be a nice little Easter egg to find out that X is actually chilling here. Alright, so we need Jill's lockpick for that, so we'll have her come back here for a loud. Uh... By the way, guys, fun fact, uh, Resident Evil 8 got leaked. Uh, rather, not the whole game or anything like that. Um, details of Resident Evil 8 got leaked, I should say. Um, supposedly, from what I've heard, um, the Resident Evil 8 leaks came from someone who was a credible source who has leaked previous Resident Evil titles before and actually was on the nose about it. So, uh, I'm going to get into that in a minute, but first, I remember this being a little Easter egg. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? Hold on. Open sesame. No voice match found. This is Nathaniel Bard. Open the door, please. No voice match found. Come on, let me in, you piece of shit. <laughs> you just talk shit to the machine. Hmm. Okay. Guess it has to be the voice of someone with clearance. No voice All right. Anyway, as I was saying, so these leaks did come from a credible source, or at the very least, who has proven themselves in the past. Now, what has been? Oh damn! Clean shot. What has been said about Resident Evil 8, right? Or what we know so far as to what's been said and what might be. Understand these are all leaks. Nothing is solid confirmed yet it's all just speculation rumors what's been thought up and so forth and so forth so one thing was said that in resident evil revelations or rather when revelations was coming to be jill and chris were actually supposed to end up having a conflict that their whole you know their whole relationship as partners and you know everyone assuming them to be a couple and everything that that's actually supposed to go out the window um for whatever reason i don't understand i don't know why um, but Chris and Jill were supposed to end up having a conflict with one another, ultimately resulting in the events of Re uh, Revelations. However, this conflict never came to be. Uh, as we see through later Resident Evil iterations, Chris does gradually become more emotionally charged. He's very much unstable. I mean, look at Resident Evil 6. He's an alcoholic. Oh, her head is gone. All right. But he's very much unstable. Um... Jill, ever since 5, has kind of been MIA. We really haven't seen her since 5, because, you know, she was captured by Wesker. But, um... I, I had a feeling he was gonna... I, like, at this point, don't fucking trust a zombie. There, now you're actually dead. But, Kurt, Jill has been MIA. Uh, so, like I said, in Revelations, they were supposed to have a conflict that it never made into the final game. The rumors that have come out about Resident Evil 8, as of now, the leaks that have come out is that in Resident Evil 8, uh, Resident Evil 8 is supposed to follow more in the ballpark of uh, psychological horror, rather survival horror. It's supposed to be more of a game to make you question whether or not what you're seeing is real. So what ends up happening is okay, nurse dialogue, yada yada yada. Um, okay, handgun ammo, that's always good. So for one, the original, the plot that's supposed to come out is that you are on an island somewhere in a town, kind of like in Resident Evil 4. An island formerly owned by Umbrella. It's supposed to be abandoned. Basically supposed to look like something out of Resident Evil 4. And a bacteria. Not a virus, but a bacteria. Has infected the island. And is loose. And this bacteria is supposed to cause hallucinations. Causing you to question whether or not what you're seeing is reality. Um, and it's supposed to fuck with your character. Uh, what else was supposed to come out? Uh, apparently we're supposed to see a number of returning characters. Characters we haven't seen in a while. Uh, there is some speculation, there's, you know, me and my girlfriend were talking about this, we made a point that they have had, you know, they've brought back certain characters, like, uh, Chris, 
Like, sorry, not Chris. Uh, you know, Resident Evil 2 and 3's remakes were a little... I guess you could say on the nose, so we're thinking maybe Carlos is going to make a re reappearance, which would be cool. Um, but that, again, that's just us talking. This is, you know, again, speculate. This is both what I've heard versus what I think. So, take it with a grain of salt. I could be completely wrong in this. I could be absolutely right. I don't know. But all speculation and rumors. So, what we do know, or rather, what we keep hearing, um, yeah, it, it's supposed to be on an island, kind of like Resident Evil 4, and it's supposed to be a bacteria. Um, also, one thing that has been confirmed, or not, I don't know if you can say it's confirmed, um, uh, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, not Operation Raccoon City, I'm sorry, Resident Evil Umbrella Corps, believe it or not, is actually canon to the Resident Evil lore, and takes place, I believe, either after 5 or 6. Takes place after the events of five, Resident Evil 5 or Resident Evil 6. I can't remember exactly, but it takes place after Wesker supposedly died. Um, that being said, if, if you complete the missions, uh, and this is all single player shit, when you do the single player missions, if you listen to the dialogue at the end, Wesker is speaking, and it's not recordings. This is shit over the radio, like things that, like right the second after you complete the mission. Like there's one uh, dialogue where. Some chick is telling Wesker, hey, we got the virus sample. Uh, and he's like, alright, cool, just bring it to me. Now, yes, his ass got blown up in a volcano, but the fact that he's like, oh yeah, sure, just bring me this virus sample, I'll take a look at it. He's still very much alive. He's still very much alive. He's able to work. He's not injured to the point where he can't work anymore. Someone's not nice. I'm hearing a lot of pissed off peoples. Uh... I need to know that safe combination. Oh, go the fuck down. Thank you. Now, one idea that we were coming up with when I was talking to my girlfriend about this. Um, one idea we came up with. They were thinking, uh, what if, I mean, if you consider the way the Resident Evil lore is going so far, Chris is working with Umbrella, as, or rather, Blue Umbrella, as we're, no, as we're supposed to know them as. Um, wait, uh, anything about this? Okay. Shit. Okay, now they're dead. Uh, yeah, I don't need that just yet. You bitch. Did you just say give me? No, you don't get any. Fuck you. Oh, there you go. There goes your fucking head. That's what you get for being a bitch. But one idea we're coming up with is that considering that Chris has kind of been... Uh, mentally unstable. He, like, he shows moments. Like, he, at first he's kind of, you know, like, all right, cool, is what it is, and then he kind of gets all fucky. Like, his head doesn't exactly stay on straight all the time. And now maybe there is more to it that we're not seeing, but he isn't exactly a stable person anymore. That being said, did we use that key yet? No, we haven't. That being said, what's the likelihood that Chris goes to this island? For whatever particular reason. You know, maybe he's still investigating, finds out that there's a chance that Wesker might still be alive. Goes to this island and isn't aware that there's a bacteria that's infected the island. So he himself ends up becoming infected. We don't need to go in here. And from there, he begins to hallucinate. Maybe he consistently sees Wesker and is just driven mad. Jill ends up going after him, trying to find out where what the hell happened to Chris. Uh, let's see, personal lockers, ID cards, yada yada yada, okay. She ends up going after Chris to find him, only to find him a maddened, broken mess. And, let me just get rid of this. And, that said, that leads to them having this conflict that Jill is going to end up having to either fight Chris or, oh. I'm trying to be sneaky, I see. Oh, no, you're actually dead. Okay, cool. Hmm. That's, that's disappointing. No, I don't want the fucking flash grenade. I don't want to open it. What, what, what's in here? Nothing. Oh, it's Mr. X gear. Cool. 
But, um... Did I get the tape? No. Oh, I got an... Oh, and I need to go down there for the ID card. Okay. Uh... I would very much like to know... Because I did this... Oh. Uh-oh. Who are you? Oh! Hunter! Hey, buddy! How's it been? We haven't seen you in a long-ass time. Hey, you got dangly dudes now, too. You never had those, but it makes you look much more intimidating. Okay, I'm just gonna open up and hopefully you just die. Wishful thinking, right? Okay, I'm just gonna run in here now. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, you can open doors. You can actually open fucking doors. Oh, that's... Okay, dude, just do me a favor. Stay right the fuck out there, please. Oh, I do have this weapon. Okay, grenade out! Yeah, you're telling me. I honestly was expecting to get blown up. Uh, I don't remember that combination, though. I did it once before. I think it's nine to the left, three to the right. or. But anyway, yeah, uh, with, with the Resident Evil 8 leaks. Again, take it as a grain of salt. This is me talking. Oh, for real? Thank you. I think it's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. Holy shit, I was right! I remembered that! I didn't think I was gonna remember that. Sweet! Tell me, watch, the passcode's in here, ain't it? Oh no, no it's not. But, um, yes, that's one idea. Another thing, too, is ever since Resident Evil 6, they've been freaking teasing us about Wesker. Even, um, fucking Resident Evil Resistance teases uh, Wesker's name. Um, for one, one of the masterminds you can fucking motherfucker. One of the masterminds you can play as is Wesker's sister, oddly enough. So... I don't know. They keep wanting us to remember that Wesker is a thing. They don't let Wesker's name die. You know, uh, Resident Evil 6, we had Jake's son. Uh, I'm sorry, not Jake's son. Good God. Jake having a son that's a nightmare. Um, no. You son of a bitch. Oh, God. You f Thank you. Stay dead. But they don't let Wesker's name die. He is a consistent name throughout the series. I mean, Wesker is a badass. Let's just be honest. Like th that's a na that's a character that I really don't think they'd want to die, and he's always a fan favorite. But I think enough people are gonna sit there and go, "Dude, he just needs to finally fucking die." Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't mind Wesker coming back. I, I would imagine more of a uh, what do you call it, an Emperor Palpatine situation where he's so disfigured and fucked up that he is waiting to kind of try to convert his son in a way, trying to get his son to take over for him. Maybe, but that's... Oh, okay, hey. You weren't supposed to, uh... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, grenade, 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 grenade! Flash out! Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Alright, that's one fight I'm not interested in. Never mind. You, you guys can take the top floors. You guys can live here. This is your house now. Fuck it. I'm not even gonna bother. Oh, wait. Wait. Fuck. I need to go back there. I need to go back. Oh, fuck. Fuck me, dude. Alright. Alright, you little bastard. Where are you? Oh, it's like some fucking Jurassic Park shit. Don't be rude! Hey! Evil and fucking rude. What the hell? Can you stop being a bitch and open the goddamn door? Okay, fuck you. I'm gonna go the long way. Fuck you. Man, these guys are just dicks. Really? Seriously, Resident Evil 3, just full of dicks. 
Zombies are dicks? Nikolai's a dick? The hunters are dicks? Where's this? Where is this dick? There you are. Oh, fucking die, please. Is your brain? Did I just see his goddamn brain? Good. One less asshole to deal with. Alright, where's the other one? Oh, what's up, buddy? Yeah, I see that tape over there. Listen, I'm just gonna creep on in right over here. You didn't hear that door. Got a flash grenade or something over here? No, you don't. Okay. Okay, it's all cool. Listen, look, we're just gonna be friends. It's all good, man. You just gotta be chill. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. You're just gonna... Oh, shit. You're gonna jump. You're gonna lunge. Okay. Open up, open up, open up. Light his ass up. Shit. Run, run. Reload. Run, 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 run. Come on. Come through the door, buddy. I ain't gonna hurt you. I ain't gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna put a bullet in you. I'm gonna put several in you. Come on, douchebag. Where are you? Oh, you went back to your spot. Okay. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna take punishment. Christ, Resident Evil has some serious identity issues. First we're a zombie game, then we're Jurassic Park. Uh, Need for Speed. It, literally, you look up any Resident Evil, and there's traits of other games found in them. It's not even inspiration. It's like, they forgot who they were. Good lord. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. You know I gotta search that, that operator. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, fuck you. You're just gonna beat me. Never mind, I'm just gonna go down this way. Fuck you, dude. Lovely. Hunters, zombies, oh, just just the works. Please, for the love of God. Okay, thank you. Um, Let me get rid of this. Oh, thank God, ammo. Great, eight rounds. That That's gonna... gonna really do... That's how you deal with zombies. Oh, there's more of you? You know, I'll get your asses blown up. Oh, that, that door's gonna come down. Give it a second. Good. Now you're all dead. Does uh, Carlos have a knife? Yes, I do. But yeah, anyway, I'm very interested in seeing what comes out for Resident Evil 8. I mean, here's the thing. Resident Evil 3 is not a bad game by any means. As Resident Evil goes, it's fun. I would say in terms of the writing, in terms of gameplay, it meets Resident Evil 2. However, they did cut a lot of this game, and that's what disappoints me. think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan-changing waste of an earth. Bard is a dick, dude. Just every... He's just a sack of ass. Hey, Bard, how you doing, buddy? Listen, I'm coming here to kick your ass, and... And... Oh, someone already did that for me. Good. Tyrell. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? Of course. Of course, there's always a terminal... Supercomputer thingamabobber that gives us all of our plot and details. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't give a shit about. You know. This is BRC Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. You're still an asshole, dude. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus, and they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board 
They want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. Now, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... He got shot. He did. Let's say Bard getting back up. God, she knew all along. And she trusted me anyway. See, Carlos shouldn't feel... I don't know why Carlos is pissed. I mean, yeah, I get it. He's... He's shocked that Jill actually trusted him despite the fact that uh, she knew about Umbrella. Is it here? But... Uh, he didn't know. And the thing is, I know Operation Raccoon City is not canon to the... Fuck. Oh, uh, let me... That. All right, Joe. Hang tight. I know Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City is not canon to the Resident Evil lore. T, I got Hold on. It. I'm just going to speak when they're done. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. So, oh. Great, you asshole. Yeah, oh, fuck you. I'm, I'm not even interested. Fuck you. I don't need to kill everything I see. Oh. You're gonna follow me. Great. Oh shit! I know Raccoon City is not canon to the Resident Evil lore. However, I do know one thing. You're gonna be okay, In Raccoon City, they did say that the UBCS is nothing more than mercenaries. Who can be bought. The USS is the actual loyal soldiers. That being said, Carlos is nothing more than a mercenary. He's just another hired gun who was hired by Umbrella to save people. And far as he knows, that's the truth. So he has no reason to be insulted to know that Umbrella really did all this. Sure, he can be pissed that he's been hired by a bunch of assholes who killed innocent people. But he shouldn't feel any kind of guilt or anger. Come on. This shit better work. In the same token, if Jill's been investigating, she should know the difference between the USS and the UBCS. Unless the USS is really that heavily guarded of a secret, in which case, maybe not. Tyrell. What the hell happened? Attention all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. Attention all citizens. I mean, that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam... Nope, not at all. Fuck. Here they come. Oh, let me sit tight. I got this. You better grab some gear. Sounds like there's a lot... Uh, party over fine... Uh, want to stock up and get ready. All right, so actually, do I have? Ah, eh, fuck it. All right, uh, all right. So that's where I'm gonna leave it for for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, please leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, ideas on what you think Resident Evil 8's gonna look like. What you've heard about Resident Evil 8. Well, let's leave it open to discussion. I'm always cool, open with that. Um, that too. Also, just ideas. What you guys think of Resident Evil 3 as well. What what your thoughts are. Um. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you like it, leave a like. Dislike it if you dislike it. See you around the next one. Thank you and have a good night.